Let's enjoy the Osampo Walk. Tokyo Walking Osampo Video. Today's course Downtown Course 1. From Asakusa Station to Oshiage Station Skytree. Hi everyone, I'm Tomoko, your Osampo Navigator for Tokyo Walking. Today's Osampo, we will walk from Asakusa Station to Sensoji to Asakusa Nishisando Shopping Street to Roku Entertainment District to Sumida River Walk to Tokyo Mizumachi to Sumida Aquarium and up to Oshiage Station Skytree. Number one popular downtown coast for tourists from abroad to Japan. The former half of the coast will be the neighborhood of Asakusa. Let's stroll around the shopping street and enjoy the downtown atmosphere. The latter half would be visiting the other side of the Sumida River, walking across Sumida River Walk. As you walk toward Tokyo Sky Tree, the tower becomes bigger and bigger, and at last, it appears right in front of you with overwhelming height. Walking time is approximately 60 minutes, and including a drop-in time at each spot, it will take about 6 hours for the whole course. Spot 1. Asakusa Station. Start! We start our Osampo from the Tobu Line Asakusa Station. The subways Tokyo Metro Ginza Line and Toei Asakusa Line also stop here. Let's enjoy walking with me. Wearing Japanese kimono makes it more exciting for your downtown Asakusa walking. We could drop in at a rental kimono shop and change into kimono before visiting Sensoji Temple. Today, we will rent our kimono at Atelier Kosode. First, pick the kimono and the accessories you like. Then, do your hair. And put on the kimono. Professional staff will make you up to a fancy kimono lady only in about 30 minutes. Today, I chose an antique design kimono. I'm dressed up in Taisho period style. Ta-da! How do I look? Now let's start strolling in kimono. We arrive at the Kaminarimon entrance gate of Sensoji Temple in about 3 minutes. Spot 2. Sensoji. This is a Kannon temple with nearly a 1400-year history. The statue was caught in a net of a fisherman out of the Sumida River in 628 and was later enshrined as the principal image of the temple. This is Kaminari Mon entrance gate. The statues of the wind god and the thunder god stand on either side of the gate. A red lantern of Kaminari Mon is 3.9 meters high and weighs 700 kilograms. This dragon-shaped engraving under the base of the lantern. Let's walk around the Nakamise shopping street wearing kimono. There are shops full of Japanese spirit on both sides of the street. Arai Bunsen Do is a long-standing shop selling beautiful Japanese dancers folding fans. It was established 130 years ago and is currently owned by its fifth family generation. Fans are for daily use and for professional use. There is a huge variety of colors and designs. Kimuraya Ningyo Yaki Honpo. Flavory soft sponge cake stuffed with red bean paste comes in various shapes. There are four Asakusa original shapes such as five-story pagoda, paper lantern, thunder god, and pigeon. Sanmon means the main gate of the temple. This is the Sanmon to Sensoji Temple, Hozo Mon Gate. 
Before entering Sammon, put your palms together for prayer and bow once. On your left, a beautiful five-story pagoda stands. Before worship, cover your body with the smoke from the incense burner. It is said that if you cover the bad part of your body with the smoke, it will heal. Worship at the main hall. Quietly throw a coin into the offering box. Put your palms together at your chest and bow. Goshuin, a red stamp is obtainable at Yogoto on the left side of the main temple. We purchased two types of Goshuins, the principal image of Kannon and Daikokuten, the god of wealth. We will go out of the precinct from the west side of the temple. There are several retro and unique shopping streets at the west side of the temple. Walking along the street, it makes you feel like you're traveling into a town of Edo period. One of the great enchantments of downtown Asakusa is that the old shopping streets remain as they were in the past. Let's stroll one of the old shopping streets, Nishisando Shopping Street. Spot 3. Asakusa Nishisando Shopping Street. This is the shopping street with the Edo townscape and the first Japanese Cypress Broadwalk. The theme of the street is festival and you will find many unique and old shops including a Japanese sword store, a kimono store, an unusual travel agency, and many others. Entering the shopping street and just to the left, there is Kagetsudo, a famous melon bread shop. Jumbo-sized fluffy melon bread is a really good snack for Osampo. Next to Kagetsudo, there are shooting gallery and goldfish scooping place. This area makes you feel like you're at a fair or a festival. Soaked in the festival mood, why not try shooting? Hey, I got it! And let's challenge the goldfish scooping too! It's very difficult to scoop the fish, but it's really fun. There are varieties of goldfish motif souvenirs too. Walking through the Nishisando shopping street and go one block, we will get to the Roku Broadway street. Turn left and proceed. Neighborhood of this street is the area called Roku. Spot 4 Roku Entertainment District. After the major restoration, Asakusa was divided into six districts. The sixth district, or Roku District, was developed as the number one entertainment district in Japan. Asakusa Rokuza and Asakusa Enge Hall remain in the center of the Roku Broadway Street. There are also commercial complexes such as Asakusa Rocks and Marugoto Nippon. Turn left from Rock Broadway Street and we will enter Asakusa Rock Street. When you come to the end of the street, it crosses with Orange Street. Orange color Asakusa Public Hall is at the right corner of the intersection. At the Stars Plaza in front of the main entrance, there are handprints of the entertainers associated with Asakusa on the pavement. 
every year, several handprints are added, and as of 2020, there are 332 handprints. It is the mass sea spot of Asakusa Rock, the mecca of entertainment. We will ride the rickshaw, the famous attraction of Asakusa. The rickshaw we rode today is from Jidaiya. What is the attractive point of Asakusa rickshaw? So, this is a very good thing. And it's 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 Rickshaw has a retractable roof, so we don't get wet. We can enjoy the townscape of Asakusa from the rickshaw, and the driver's guide is easy to understand and fun. If you have a chance to visit Asakusa, experiencing a rickshaw ride is recommended. Return the kimono at Atorie Kosode, change to my own outfit, and start for a latter part of the course. It stopped raining, lucky me! Go under the top line overpass and we will get to the Sumida River. You can see the tall Tokyo sky tree ahead. Let's go up the stairs for Sumida River Walk. Spot 5 Sumida River Walk. In June 2020, Sumida River Walk was completed as a footbridge running alongside the Tobu Line. You can have a rare experience to see the trains running constantly overhead, hearing the sound and feeling the vibration of the train. You will also enjoy a beautiful view of the river and wooden pavement comforts you. Now many people use this convenient promenade. On the way, there is a glass pavement spot where you can see the surface of the river underneath. Two Sorakara-chans, the mascot character of Tokyo Sky Tree, are in hiding along the way. After crossing Sumida River Walk, let's go into the Tokyo Mizumachi pathway from the right side of the park. Spot 6 Tokyo Mizumachi. Tokyo Mizumachi is a commercial district underneath the Tobu Line tracks opened in June 2020. It spreads into the west zone and the east zone, and due to its location along the Kitajiken River, it offers you the scenic view of the waterfront. There are cafes, restaurants, bakeries, and accommodation facilities. As we go down the street, Tokyo Sky Tree looms bigger and bigger. We will have a lunch at the dining cafe Land A at the West Zone. I will enjoy the voluminous steak lunch at the terrace beside Kitajiken River. As you walk through Tokyo Mizumachi, keep going straight. Take the elevator beyond Tokyo Skytree Station of Tobu Skyline to the 4th floor and then take an escalator up to Sumida Aquarium on the 5th floor.
Spot 7 スミダアクエリウムアナクエリウム in Tokyo Skytree Town Its distinctive feature is that you can appreciate the displays freely without any fixed route. Chairs are placed in front of the major water tanks, so you will be able to watch your favorite sea creatures at your favorite locations as much as you want. In the jellyfish area, basin type jellyfish tank Big Chalet was newly displayed in summer 2020. Let's put ourselves in the mystical world of 500 moon jellyfish floating around. From Sumida Aquarium, go down the escalator to the fourth floor again and head for Sky Arena. The entrance to Tokyo Sky Tree is on this floor. When you look up at the 634 meters Tokyo Sky Tree, your neck might hurt because of its overwhelming height. From Sky Arena, we will go down to the first floor taking the escalator named Soramizaka. Oshiage Skytree Station is right ahead of the square. Spot 8 Oshiage Station Skytree. Go! Now we have arrived at the goal, Tokyo Metro Oshiage Station Skytree. Today, we walked the pedestrian bridge over the Sumida River, connecting the great two symbols of Sensoji Temple in the west and Tokyo Skytree in the east. This was a fan filled Osampo that you can experience two major spots at one time. We want to recommend this to the Tokyo downtown beginner. Next time, we'll journey together on a new wonderful walking route in Tokyo. See you again!